with me. Nagito, is it okay if I come in? I... I know you said you were trying to stay away from everyone because you were feeling rather ill, but... I imagine that it might be lonely on your own. Well, of course, Mikan has been checking on you, but I still, I, I still want to make sure that you're really okay. So, can I come in? Thank you so much for letting trash like me come check up on you. It was okay that I closed the door, right? Okay. Sorry, I thought maybe that was a bit rude or weird. I just, you know, you had said that you didn't really want anyone coming over, and now I'm here, and I don't know. I just figured you didn't want anyone to see you like this. Well, besides trash like me. But my opinion doesn't really matter, so. What? No, 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 no. It's okay. I I am trash. You don't have to convince me otherwise. And it's not important either. What's more important is your health. I want you to be as healthy as possible. I know Mikan has been giving you the medication and care that you need. But we all miss seeing your smiling face around the island. You really are quite adorable. I, I'm so sorry. That was too much. I d didn't mean to say anything like that. I hope I didn't make you feel uncomfortable. Oh, I didn't? I'm glad. Because I really wouldn't want to offend someone like you. You're just filled with so much hope. I can't imagine offending you or hurting your feelings, but if you considered me the scum of the earth, you wouldn't be wrong. So, I apologize for what I said. But I also think that it's true. Yes, I do. And we all really miss you, but of course. If you're sick, there's not much that you can do. And I know that you're doing it so that we can all stay safe and healthy. You know, you really are a good person at heart. Keeping yourself locked up over here so that we don't get sick. Well, that might not seem like a big thing to you, and maybe you were even too ill to really move around to begin with, but... You're still very thoughtful, and I appreciate that, so. You're just really sweet. Yes, you are. You're very hopeful, and not many people are like that, so thank you for being yourself. Uh-huh, it's the truth. But, again, I'm getting distracted. I came to make sure that you were feeling okay. Not to tell you how amazing you are. But if that makes you feel better, then I will gladly continue. Oh, is there something else that you'd like me to do? And what is that? Oh, of course. I can always give you, give you a nice pack, do you? Oh, Mikan gave you one earlier. Are you sure it's still cold? Oh, okay. Oh, I, I, I see it. Here. It's on, you wanted it on your forehead, right? Sorry. I didn't mean to just assume things. I should have asked. I am such trash. 
Hmm? Oh, sorry. I went on a little tangent. I didn't mean to weird you out or anything. Look, just let me know if I do anything you don't like. I really don't want to weird you out, okay? All right, well, I put the ice pack on you. Did you say that Mikan gave you your medication already? Okay, so you don't need to take anything else, right? Okay. Um, well, is there anything I can do for you? I'm not sure how much more help I can be since I'm such trash, but I'll do what I can. Oh. You just want me to stay by your side? Well, no one's ever said anything like that to me before. Yes, I'm serious. I mean, why would somebody want such garbage like me to be near them? You know? <laughs> well, I'm really happy that you don't see me that way. And that you actually want me to be in your company. That fills me with so much hope. Hey, why are you thanking me? Thank you for letting me even come in and talk to you. I'm sure you must have felt embarrassed. I mean, you're sick. And you've been keeping yourself away, so you probably didn't want someone to see you like this, and then I kind of just barged in. Well, yes, I did ask to come in, but I still feel kind of bad. Huh? It's okay. O okay, I'll... I, I believe you. You want me to have more faith in myself? <laughs> okay, well, I, I can try, but I don't know how well that will go. I mean, if I have you by my side, then I'm sure it it, it can be possible. No, I, I didn't mean that weirdly. I just meant that you're such a great person and anybody would be lucky to be anywhere near you. Maybe this is my luck kicking in, getting to spend this time with you. Even if you are sick, this visit is really meaningful to me, and I'm sorry you're not at a hundred percent right now. Of course, it's not your fault that you're sick. Well, actually, I'll take the blame. Well, uh, of course, I physically didn't get you sick, but like I just mentioned earlier, I was feeling really lucky that I got to spend this time with you, but now that I'm thinking more about it, it's under unfortunate circumstances. So, I apologize for existing, because now you're in pain because of me. All because of my stupid luck. No, no, really. It's my fault. I mean, I am the ultimate lucky student. What else do you expect from someone like me? Hmm? What was that? I I I'm sorry. I'll really try not to talk down on myself. I'll do it for you. 
your hope, it really just radiates all over the room. I can't help but feel maybe a sliver of pride when I'm with you. Oh, I see a yawn. Is your fever making you sleepy? Yeah. Okay, well, then I should probably let you be and get some rest, okay? Sleep well. I'll check on you later. Bye now.